Hey, welcome back, guys. So in the last video, I showed you how to flash firmware to the Piggy OSD through the Arduino program. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up the actual layout and everything else using the MW OSD GUI. If you have not watched the last video, look in the description below. I'll leave a link to my OSD playlist where you will find that video, as well as the upcoming videos, because after this, I'm going to show you how to wire this into your multi-rotor and camera and uh, and then I'll do another video after that talking about the built-in uh, OSD menu to where you can change your PIDs, rates, super rates, expos, everything through your on-screen display which eliminates the need of a laptop. So just like in the last video I'm going to take my uh, serial converter plug it into this extension or you can just plug this right into your computer doesn't matter and uh, just like I said in the last video you can use uh, you can use servo connectors like this, plug it in, and then solder these into the OSD to get that solid connection, but uh, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to hold it in like this and kind of hold it at an angle and apply pressure. That's just going to keep it in place. So now I'll go to where you downloaded the MWOSD folder, and I, I've made a folder right here called MWOSD, and this is the download right here. This time, instead of using MWOSD, we will go to MWOSD GUI. The new GUI is going to be the uh, m like the Microsoft Chrome web app. You can try it out if you want. I've, I haven't had any luck with it at all. I, I think it works horrible, at least for me. Um, I'm sure in the, in, if you're watching this video in the future, then they're probably going to work out all the bugs, but I'll be using the old GUI. Then out of the old GUI, you need to select what type of computer you were using. I'm using a Windows, and it is a 64-bit system, but if I click this and then click this, I'm just going to get like a black window, and it's not going to work. So I'm going to do 32 instead, and 32 works just fine for me. So try them both out and figure out which one works for you. Now once we are here, uh, if you place your... If, or if you plan on placing your OSD on a UART and in the last video you set the baud rate to 115,200 then you want to select this if you are putting it on a soft serial port and you watch that additional video that is in my OSD playlist then you want to do 19,200 then you want to choose your COM port and it's going to be the same COM port that you used in the last video so I will choose COM3 and it's reading and now it's done. The very first thing you want to do is uh, pick your font. This is the default font and I like the default font. I'm not going to change it but if you do want to change it then you can do select and you can choose bold, large, or default or whatever this is. I haven't tried it. Uh, so just click that and then do open and then after that you want to do upload and it's going to say uploading 0 to 256 or something like that. It takes a long time, but just wait, because if you try to make any changes while it's doing that, it's going to mess things up. So once it's done, then you can make your changes. And how this works is, because this is not a minimum OSD micro on-screen display, which has extra pads where you can direct wire, uh, other wires to get your voltage, current, RSSI, things like that, uh, this OSD doesn't have that. So all of the data we are getting is coming from the flight controller. So if we click display voltage, and this goes for everything, notice the voltage right here. You can turn stuff on and off. So I do want voltage, and now it's appearing. Then I also want to turn on use flight controller main voltage. That means the data will be coming from the flight controller instead of that extra pad, because this OSD doesn't have that extra pad. And I find this to be a more accurate way of doing it anyway. You can adjust your voltage, but I do not recommend doing it through the MWOSD. I would recommend calibrating your voltage and current through Betaflight or CleanFlight. Uh, I'll leave you a link to my Betaflight playlist, and in that playlist you'll find a video on how to calibrate both voltage and current. Then for battery cells, choose what cell battery you will be using. I'm using 4S. To change this stuff, you just want to click it and then drag up and down. So I will choose 4, then voltage alarm, once it reaches this voltage, the text will actually flash on and off on your screen, and this applies to all of the other alarms as well. Um, so once again, just click it, drag up and down to change it. 
and I'm actually going to change mine a little bit. Um, I don't ever use video voltage. If you want your uh, current and also the amount of current that has been drawn, then you can turn these on. Once again, don't forget to use flight controller amperage and leave virtual sensor turned off. Um, same thing goes for RSSI and all this other stuff. Um, if you are using FreeSky receivers, I do have a video showing you how you can uh, get the RSSI to go from your receiver or your transmitter to the receiver and then the flight controller and then the flight controller will relay that to the OSD. I'll leave you a link to that one as well. If you do want a call sign, which is going to be your name or your nickname or racer number, whatever you want, then you can change that here and then turn this on. It will flash on the screen every so often. And I don't know if you noticed this, but in the Arduino program, you could actually set how often it flashes. You can change the, inter the interval in between flashes and also how long it flashes. So you would have to change that and then re-upload firmware if you do want to change that. The most important thing is uh, figure out what type of format your FPV camera uses. This comes set to PAL by default and if you're using an NTSC camera then you're either not going to get video or no text on your screen. And there's many other things that could cause no video or no text. This is just one. I'm not saying this is the surefire fix but it's just one thing to be sure you have set correct. Um, I do want my throttle position. I'm a very basic guy. I just want voltage and throttle position. That's it. Um, I really just use these OSDs for that built-in OSD menu so I can change my rates and all that stuff without a laptop. Um, but everything else, I mean, you should have a good understanding of how everything works now. So go ahead and set everything up. Once you have it all set up, then you want to do write. And we'll see that it's writing and it's now done. Once it's done, you can click close com, close this out. I will now pull this off of my uh, serial converter and you're done. So the next thing is to actually wire this into your camera and video transmitter and flight controller. And that will be the next video. So you will find that in the OSD playlist I'm leaving you in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.